Hey guys, me Ken with New Alert. I'm here with Mia from Sonic. How's it going? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Now you showed me a lot of Sonic 4 Episode 2. It's coming to like all kinds of platforms. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about it? Uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2. Uh, it's it's the direct continuation of Episode 1. Uh, we listened to fans. We listened to their concerns about the physics system in the original one. We went back to the drawing board. Have now implemented an entirely new physics system, entirely new graphics system. So now not only should it play and feel like like what. Sonic fans have come to expect, sure. but it should look just a million times better than the first one. Like the level of detail going between one and two is just amazing. Sure. Well, you know, we had a chance to play it just now, and of course, the first thing I had to do was look up, look down, <laughs> uh, go to a go to a cliff, go to the edge 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 of that cliff, uh -huh. and everything is finally there. Fantastic. Yeah. So it, it it feels really good. I definitely had my issues with episode one, episode two. Can't sing the praises enough. I can't wait to see all the other levels that are coming out for it. Um, anything else you want to add about it? What, uh, what platforms is it coming out for? Well, it's coming out uh, under almost every platform under the sun. It's coming out for, uh, it's actually coming out very soon, next month, 15th, 16th, I believe, wow, okay. uh, for PlayStation and Xbox, and then it'll also be coming out on PC and uh, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone 7 tablets. And we've got some nice little goodies based on the platforms. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, very good. And you know, one of the things that people were kind of wondering about for Sonic 4 Episode 2, uh, was the addition of Tails. Yes. Um, we did get to play with Tails, and you guys have a lot of uh, different gameplay mechanics with Tails, right? Yeah, so the addition of Tails, it's sort of going back to to the original Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We've re-added Tails, and, and now we've kind of beefed up his abilities as a, bolster, as, a, as a booster to Sonic. So, for example, in the original Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you could only pick him up, like, Tails could only pick up Sonic and then go flying with him. We've added some in another uh, couple of moves. So now uh, Tails is a useful companion to Sonic on land, sea, and air. Sure. So for example, when you're on land, you could do a, a massive, massive spin attack, which gives you uh, a lot of power, but you sort of uh, lose a bit of mobility, so you have to use it a little more strategically. In the water, uh, he can now act as a little bit of a propeller for Sonic. So now, you know, Sonic, Sonic levels, um, the water levels have always been- A pain in the ass. A little scary, right? Like you go in the water and you're not sure how you can get out of it. Right. You're afraid of drowning. It's a little sure. tough. But now, now that Tails is with you, you can now kind of navigate it much more easily, which has allowed us to make like another, like a, a couple of cool level, sure. or sorry, level design choices. So yep. now it's, it should be fun to make your way through water stages with Tails. No, and I think it worked really good. There were a couple times where I just sailed off a cliff and I saw something I wanted to get up ahead and I could just hit the tails button mm -hmm. and I could get a little bit of a boost if I missed a platform too. Exactly. I mean, so it worked really, really well, yeah. I thought. And the best thing about that is that all of those combo moves transfer over into the collaborative play, which is both online and local. Uh, so, you know, we basically brought back a little brother mode from Sonic the sure. Hedgehog 2. So now you and a friend, sibling, romantic interest, whatever, you guys can play Sonic and Tails and go through the levels together. No, very good. And, you know, one of the things that we haven't really touched on was how good the game now looks. I mean, because you guys really improved like the graphical detail in the game too with different effects and stuff. Yes, it looks fantastic. So today we're showing off two different levels. We're showing off Zone 1, Act 1, I believe Zone 2, Act 1. Um, it's it's your basic Sonic Green Zone. Um, and then we also have another uh, Winter Wonderland Zone. And both of them are, are really, really fantastic to show for, for a couple of different reasons. The first one is awesome because it sort of mirrors the original levels from Sonic 4 Episode 1. But the, you know, in Sonic 4 Episode 1, you have grass that's kind of flat. It's like a little one-dimensional. Everything is very colorful, but there's not really a lot of texture and details. And almost immediately when you start playing this, you notice the blades of grass are all individual. Like they have shadows, there's texture, the background extends, it extends pretty far so you can see what's going on. It really feels like the world opens up a lot. The, the winter level, you see a big um, a roller coaster in the background, and actually you travel to that roller coaster later on the level, so it really gives you a feeling of progression as you go through sure. each zone. Yeah, I mean, skies look beautiful, suns look beautiful, grass looks beautiful. I mean, everything is just, you know, has more texture to it. Mm -hmm. So it really feels like you're really immersed, like it's really deep. Mm -hmm. But it still maintains that, like, very whimsical, happy kind of sonic yeah. feeling to it. Yeah, it's still very bright yeah. and, and very colorful, and it's really appealing, like, aesthetically. Well, you know, we're really happy to see that you guys have listened to gamers. I mean, it's clear, as soon as you guys play the demo, you will see that they've listened to gamers. So, <laughs> congratulations, have a great show of packs, Thank and you. best of luck with episode two. Actually, we wanted to mention one more thing. You, you mentioned the fans, and, and just we just announced this right before PAX, but as a Breaking bonus, news. as a bonus to, to our fans for their continued loyalty, um, players who have episode one and now get episode two on the same platform, 
uh, we'll unlock additional content in episode two, and we're calling it episode Metal. And basically, you'll get to play as Metal Sonic through oh, wow. okay. uh, four acts over four zones from the original uh, Sonic Core episode one, levels that have been a little redesigned for, for Metal Sonic. And it'll basically nice. tell okay. the story of how Metal Sonic goes from the end of Sonic CD and essentially makes his recovery and winds up as a villain in Sonic Core episode two. So, as I was mentioning, it's not super integral to the story of episode two. If you don't get it, you might not miss it, but it's sort of both a throwback to lock-on technology and also a thank you for people for continuing to follow our series. No, no, no. I mean, those are the kind of things that Sonic fans are going to absolutely love. So, I hope so. Yeah, no, no. So, great job. So, so Mia, congratulations again. It is looking fantastic, and we can't wait to see it on console. Awesome. I'm so happy you liked it. Thanks, Mia. Thank you very much.